you are about to learn how to create your own viral talking babies. But wait, not just babies. Any photo can talk, even me. This TED Talk moment doesn't exist. I simply typed a prompt into an AI, a woman giving a TED Talk. Seconds later, it created the exact scene you see, including me. The Baby Talking Podcast is something I still see across my feed, and it is still extremely popular. People love them, and you can make them yourself completely free, or you can take it up a step, up a level, and then you can make things like TED Talks. You can also do Vibe Marketing, and yes, you heard that right. It's not Vibe Coding, it's Vibe Marketing. I can show you later in the video, or you can do something like this. which is, of course, AI Dana as a toy on a desk. You're really limited by your imagination, and like I said, this is completely free. As always, I have a link in the description below, but today's tool is called Pippet, and it is created by CapCut. And you can see here, 150 credits per week. It refreshes weekly, which means you can generate two minutes of video per week, and it is extremely easy to use. When you sign in, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this. If you wanna do the AI talking photo, for example, you can click here and it's going to load up a page where you have a list of different talking photos that you can select. So you can see here, these are different ones that exist already and we can just use these as default. You can also generate your own photo and use that as your talking baby. And then keep in mind, if you create this, you can actually upload it and make it go viral. So let's say we want to do this one here, the baby complaining, we can actually click it, we can hit create with this photo. We're going to hit next and we're going to say, got it. And now we can add in our own script. So here's our script. We can actually change the voice of our character and you can see a library here. We can hit play, we can pick the one we want. We can also say, hey, do we wanna show the captions? And there are a ton of different options we can pick from. And then we can hit confirm, we can say it's English. We can decide the gesture and movement of our baby or we can just quickly hit try sample and when we're ready, we can hit export. Now we have some options. We can export without the watermark. We can give it a name. We can change the resolution to all the way up to 4K. So I'm just gonna leave it at 1080p just for speed. And now we can see quality. And just gonna stick with recommended. We can change the frame rate. We can change literally everything and we hit download. Now it's going to generate our talking baby that looks like this. Don't forget to subscribe. It is free and you can stay up to date with the latest AI. That was just the talking baby and you can do the same thing with a TED talk or whatever you wanna do. You just pick talking photo and it is actually really cool because if you pick a photo with multiple people, that's what I had in the TED talk, you can actually have multiple people talk. So if you wanted like a podcast going back and forth, I'm just gonna click the street interviewer just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna hit next. It's going to actually show both faces and you can select who to speak. So you can actually select both of them or one of the two characters to talk back and forth. So it is really cool. Again, talking baby, interviewers, podcasts, TED Talks, you can generate all that right here completely free, at least two minutes per week, which is better than nothing. You've also probably heard of Vibe Coding. How about Vibe Marketing, which is something they have in beta, which I have here. So you can actually take your idea and then you can create it, schedule it and publish it all on one platform. So you can actually link all your social media accounts to Pippet and then it's going to generate all the media and then it's going to schedule it out and post it to your social platforms. So let me show you how this works because it's really cool. Say your product is the selfie mouse and you can see what's offered on this page here. This is the exact URL we are going to give Pippet to analyze and yes, it's going to analyze. This is a full vibe coding agent for marketing. So I need to push this craft geek selfie tripod globally on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram during Black Friday campaign, November 15th to December 1st, focusing on North America and Europe. Highlight its height adjustment, cold shoe mount, and travel friendly design to attract creators and travelers. And then I gave a product link. I'm gonna hit go. And now what's going to happen is the AI agent is going to go through and collect all the different information we have on this product. You can actually see here on the left, I've actually tried this already with the key cron keyboard and I was creating a whole commercial with it and it is really cool, but I wanna start fresh. I wanna show you the entire process because it is absolutely wild how this works. I was just playing around with it. Now we're gonna just kind of go through it. So it is actually analyzing each link on this page and you're gonna see it actually come back with all the information for this tripod. It has the information now, we can see the Black Friday campaign confirmation. We can decide what we want our campaign to focus on. Do we want awareness and exposure, traffic to the product page, conversion and sales, 
UGC creator partnerships, we have all these different options. We can also select the different social media to use in our campaign. So this is all information it pulled from the website itself. So we might say, okay, we don't actually want to use this one. I don't know what it picked up here. There's this one we can click zoom and we can see like the elevated tripod. Okay. That one's pretty good. We can see this one. We can see that one. Okay. Maybe we don't want this one here. We can just click X. We can also hit the plus and just upload our own if we want. And then we can say, how do we want the selected assets to be used? So we can say as creative inputs, generate new aspects inspired by these or use the exact files directly as is. So if we say, Hey, use these as created assets, it's going to take this and then it's going to build and generate something based on it. And then we can say, Hey, what is our black Friday deal? So maybe it's use Franklin AI at checkout. That's not a real deal, by the way. I'm just making it up for the sake of this demonstration. So you can see here, it has gone through. It found all this information from the website. It's figuring out exactly, hey, what type of marketing do we want to do? And it's going to continue going forward to eventually generate these exact videos. You can now see we have our Craft Geek Black Friday brand strategy. We can view it. We can see everything it pulls up. So it has a product summary, the link, the targeted platforms of what we're trying to do, our business goals. We can see the competitive analysis that it's pulled up as well. We can see their positioning. It's literally pulling up everything possible that it, you need to market this product. So when I say vibe marketing, it is truly vibe marketing. It is doing everything just through vibes. You're just prompting it back and forth. So we can actually see view calendar if we wanna view our calendar of what we're publishing when. And if we link these platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook page, it will literally post to those for us once it generates all this data. So we can actually hit batch. It's going to generate all three for us. We can see exactly what it's doing, targeted audience, the description, and the prompt it's going to use for each of these little videos. So we can hit generate, and now all three videos are going to batch to actually be generated. It has generated a bunch of images that it needs for the videos, and you can see the published tasks. We can click view calendar, and it will show you exactly what it suggests. Hey, you can publish one on November 18th, the 20th, the 22nd, and we have the different things that we can schedule out and we can show exactly where we can schedule them to. What I like too is the naming convention. So if we click here, we can actually see in progress. So we can see like our AI talking photo versus the vibe TikTok and vibe Facebook. Our first video. Oh, why is my footage always so shaky? I can't get a single steady shot. Wait, my Craft Geek variety tripod. One press and it's ready to go. Dual cold shoes for my light and mic. Plus switch from landscape to portrait in a snap. Perfect for travel. Collapses small, sets up fast. My content game just leveled up. Okay, it is really cool. Some minor modifications that could be a really amazing like TikTok trailer for the product. Does the product fall behind the person like a dog? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But it is pretty cool that you can like vibe market this entire product and it found all the details. It is also has the ability to walk. So, I mean, it adds, it's adding amazing features. We are really only scratching the surface of what's possible. We've gone through two features. The feature list is wild because you can do marketing videos and avatar videos, and I should do the talking video, and you can do TED Talks or podcasts or literally anything you want. AI design is really cool. It uses Nano Banana. You can describe whatever you want. You can use quotation marks to add in text, but they also have a canvas, and the way the canvas works is it's just imagine like a board. You can add images. You can upload your own images figure out the aspect ratio you want, and then you can add a prompt that's going to combine your like your text with the image or images with layered images. It's going to use Nano Banana to bring it all together. Again, Pipit has so many different features that are so powerful, like the Vibe marketing one. Is it buggy? I mean, Vibe coding is, and it's the whole concept of how good are your prompts and how are you going back and forth? And it is really, really cool that it's able to grab all the information and generate all this really cool content. And then on top of all that, if you haven't had enough already, we can go to video generator. We can use agent mode. There's VO3, SOAR2, or just agent mode that kind of does it all. You can add and figure out your aspect ratio you want. You can add with an avatar, without. There is so much you can do. You can even train your own avatar. So you can do photo to avatar and you can what? see... We do have AI Dana as an avatar 
on Pivot so I can use her in my videos and my content. Not sure what you want to do? Well, don't worry, they have you covered as well. There is inspiration, so we can click that and you can kind of scroll down and you can see everything that is happening around the world trending on TikTok. There is video templates you can use, image templates you can use, you can favorite them, the list goes on and on. Whether you're using it to make fun baby podcasts or maybe you're doing a TED Talks, it is a really cool and powerful tool and you can use it for free two minutes per week. Check it out in the link below. I hope you enjoyed today's AI video. I've had a lot of fun with this one. I've purchased a lot of credit to just play around with it and maximize my enjoyment. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think as always. And don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Like the video. It tells the algorithm, hey, I enjoyed this type of content. I want to see more of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. So